I am outside the cathedral at the video. It is stunningly beautiful. I've just been inside to collect my pilgrim's passport, which cost me two euros. Let's see where today takes us. When I start a new Camino, it always takes me a while to like get my eye in for where the arrows are. So they are about, I just haven't managed to find any yet. I know I'm on the right route though, because I do have my hiker app, so I am following a GPS system as well. Just so excited for this walk especially early september the weather is beautiful i mean just look at those blue skies 23 kilometers to go maybe a little further i'm quite intrigued to see how busy this camino is going to be according to the statistics now of everybody who walks the camino only five percent of people do this pilgrimage we are now leaving behind the city bye bye city and we are heading out into the countryside We've literally just passed over this bridge, that bridge right there. So over this bridge and we're going to carry on through La Venta, Valsera, Perimona, Paladin, another bridge, Penaflor and all the way to Grado. Glorious walking, stunning views, beautiful weather, win, 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 win. Epic, epic, epic. Like I'm loving this walk so far and it's only been the first couple of hours. We're heading to team Grado. Grado. 27,521 steps. Grado, Grado, number 14. Okay, that's where I'm gonna try and stay, the municipal in Grado. Yeah. 
you are currently here. So we're going to cross over the bridge, go along the road, and then we're going to come to another roundabout. This roundabout, we're going to cut through this park to head to the municipal albage there. We're not off to the best start. So this place actually only has 16 beds and you can't actually make reservations. There is another accommodation down here. The next albergue I'm going to try is actually only 200 meters away. 